Ed Modestly said they wanted to be one. The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, we've heard a lot about old sayings from the member who's just resumed his seat. And no, I'm not going to attack his age, because age can be a very good thing until you don't have it. Um, but I will say that there's a saying I think that is actually made for that member, and that is that clothes maketh the man, because apart from that, there's nothing much else. Um, so, <laughs> but they're very good clothes, though. <laughs> very good clothes. What we have seen, we could say the same thing about the current government, except we'd have to say reviews maketh the government. So we've had 45 reviews so far. I think that's about as many sitting days of Parliament that we've had for this government. I think it's one review a day. They've had nine years, nine long years, I'd say, in opposition. Well, what were they doing? We do know they were stabbing each other in the back and actually not getting on with their jobs. Just, let's see where we are now. We're now in, we've been in, in this new government for five months. We've got no new homes under Kiwi Build. We've got some plans to rehash some of the houses consented under National. We've got no trees uh, that have been planted. We've got no roads built. We've got no roads even approved. We've got no trains approved. We've got the oil and gas sector in disarray, with the Prime Minister saying the most ridiculous virtue signalling nonsense that she tends to say in front of the Greenpeace people, who she made the, she made, um, the Foreign Minister actually wait for while she got to do a sign and have a photo. That's had to be corrected by the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Yes. Then she's got the economic vandalism of actually going through and having companies like Air New Zealand being attacked by my dear old friend Shane Jones, who has today uh, been responsible for making a big company like Air New Zealand become actually seen like a victim by a bully boy minister who thinks it's OK to call for the resignation of the chief executive of Air New Zealand and also the chairman of the board, and by the way, the whole board. Well, why not? He would say. We have the transport strikes today against a, another strike. Seven transport strikes in five months. And there were none in nine years of national for the trains and for the ships. We've got seven, 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 seven of them. And it's the same union every single time. But I, while Phil Twyford wants to talk about unions, let me just uh, say this to him. Munns Union. The Munns Union, the Maritime Union of New Zealand, that sees itself as having some form of very close relationship with the current Labour Party, having had the Prime Minister go to visit them straight after the election to be congratulated. The Munns Union's up in arms that oil and gas is now at risk. They know what's happening in the Pegasus Basin. They know there's enough natural gas there to keep New Zealand not only going, but actually to have a huge export industry for massive wealth for this country. And they know it's their members who get the jobs. And they've been on the phone to Jacinda Ardern, so although Winston Peters would like to claim credit for it, it's actually the head of the Munns Union that stopped that sort of behaviour from Jacinda Ardern. And she knows where her funding for her party comes from. Order. So what we've got is a government in total disarray. I'm really disappointed in Jacinda Ardern. And I'm going to touch on this, because it goes right to the heart of why she does not understand middle New Zealand. Your 16-year-old kids gets indecently assaulted at a Labour Party function or any other function. You want to know. You know why you want to know? Because motherhood, fatherhood are not just jobs. They're your life. You're not there for eight hours a day. You're there 24-7. And no parent wants to know that their kid has been put at risk, abused, and then sent home being told, don't worry, we're not going to tell your mum and dad, as though they've done anything wrong. Kids, we have a huge problem with youth suicide. We have a huge problem with kids getting into drugs and alcohol. The one thing we expect from anyone in charge of our children is some responsibility. They're in the place of the parent. 
for goodness sake, start to act like it instead of covering up for Andrew Curtin and the rest of the Labour Party. It's an utter disgrace. Order, order. The Honourable Ruth Dyson. Mr Speaker, I have to admire that member's gall.